Ajá. antes eran selva verde. Ahora encontramos una partecita que está quedando como territorio ancestral donde llamamos Ome y donde hablan para que nacía Zuni. Encontramos varios bloques y otro, la última, el 43, está avance para allá sacar el último petróleo. Lo que estamos viviendo vida con mira de aquí del parque, si viene a destruir y aquí acabaría la vida. After much controversy in 2017, Ecuador, a South American oil-rich country, started to drill in a new oil field inside Yasuni National Park. Yasuni holds one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world and is home to indigenous people. It also contains a third of the country's oil reserves. It was a revolutionary idea to fight global climate change, but it clashed with potent interests. Cash-rich China emerged a strong player in Latin America. In Ecuador, it became a major stakeholder in new oil deals. But China's plan to grab Ecuador's riches met resistance. No vamos a regalar a los empresas chinas que vienen de otro continente que sean dueños de estos recursos. Los grandes corporaciones, ellos ya no están valorando a la tierra. La tierra ya está convirtiendo en un espacio de basura. The extraction of fossil fuels drives the world, but it causes climate chaos. The story of Yasuni forces a question. Should we leave the oil in the ground? Texaco, a U.S. oil company, came to operate here in the late 60s. It discovered that Horani was sitting on commercial quantities of oil and had to be moved. Texaco allied with evangelical missionaries and Ecuador's government. Horani were forced to live in a protectorate. It shattered their world. Environmental campaigners claim they have evidence to prove the guilt of big oil in damaging the Amazon's lifeblood, its water. Esta es el agua dulce que nos dejó Chevron acá en la Amazonía ecuatoriana. La gente aquí no tiene agua potable en el sector. Lo que hace es hacer un hueco hasta de 6 metros de profundidad para captar el agua subterránea para el consumo humano. Y estas aguas, como tú puedes ver, subterráneas están totalmente contaminadas. Chevron, an American oil company, had bought Texaco after it departed from Ecuador in the 1990s. Flare stacks left behind by the oil industry still claim lives. Chevron Texaco is accused of leaving in its wake a disaster dubbed Rainforest Chernobyl. But the company says it acted in compliance with Ecuadorian law and Texaco spent more than $40 million in cleanup operations. It claims it now has no liabilities after Ecuador's government at the time signed off their clearance. The people of Ecuador are still battling the corporation in the international courts. Ecuador asked, for $3.6 billion in compensation, half the value of the Yasuni oil. The money, managed by the United Nations Trust Fund, would help Ecuador's transition towards a post-oil country. Ecuador's rainforest is a small but important part of the Amazon basin, and Yasuni plays a critical role in mitigating climate changes because of its unique biodiversity. A study from 2015 confirmed it. Saving Yasuni became a global mission. Ecuador's revolutionary idea raised hopes for a future free from oil dependence. <laughs>